We're in Northern Ireland to assess the competitors that will make it into Squad UK to decide who comes into Team UK to represent the UK at Sao Paulo next year. Competitions are a very good way of encouraging higher level standards. It's a, a very powerful incentive for people uh, to invest, to really focus on becoming world class in terms of, of what they're doing. Uh, vocational skills are of crucial importance uh, to, to our economy. It's a tremendous opportunity for the students because we wouldn't normally cover this sort of training in their, in their normal curriculum. Those who go out to squad will have maybe six, ten weeks one-to-one uh, -one training, which you just don't get in industry. It gives them better self-belief, better confidence, and actually understand that the course that they've just followed, how it works in the real world. We work in a very competitive market uh, globally, and I think that uh, introducing competition within a, a learning environment, a training environment, is very, very important to, to embed that competitive nature. Right the way across the country, it's really helping to bring up the standards and the skills out there, which makes everybody in turn more employable. I never really expected to get to this stage, I don't think. And now I'm here, it's kind of like surreal. It's a journey to represent your country. That's about as close as you can get to being like an Olympian. I want to go for gold, so hopefully I can prove that I can. The only reason I am where I am now is because of what World Skills International and UK did for me. And for me now, it's about handing all those experiences back to these youngsters to give them a better chance of winning. They have come so far and they are so determined and they exhibit all those huge qualities that we need to succeed in life. There's so much pride, sort of competing for your country, that would be just the ultimate thing, I think. Keep that passion and keep that curiosity and it will serve them very well in the rest of their lives.